Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start to story. AITA for losing my cool when my wife woke me up to take the kids to school. I'm a pretty hands-on dad. My name's Alex, and I'm married to Sonia. We've got two kids, a seven-year-old boy and a five-year-old girl. Sonia's a stay-at-home mom, and I do my best to pull my weight. When I get home from work, I dive straight into making dinner, washing up and spending quality time with the kids so Sonia can get a breather. I know being a SHM is no walk in the park, so I try to be as supportive as I can. But recently, life's been a total grind. November's a huge month at my job. I'm talking a major project that's been in the works for six months. It's crunch time, and I've been working from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the office, then coming home to handle the kids until around 9 p.m. After that, it's back to work until 3 or 4 a.m. I'm running on fumes, barely catching a few hours of sleep here and there. Last week, I was so wiped out I couldn't even trust myself to drive. My coworkers had to drag me to the hospital because I almost passed out just from walking. The doctor said I was on the verge of a breakdown and needed to take a week off. When I got home, I talked it over with Sonia. I explained that I needed a full day to catch up on sleep and recover. She was sympathetic and agreed. I even suggested giving her a day off too, since I knew she was running on empty with the kids having the flu and all. So I hit the hay early, around 9 p.m. The next morning, Sonia woke me up around 6.30 am, nudging me to take the kids to school. I reminded her of our agreement from the night before, that I needed some solid sleep to recover. She shrugged it off saying, yeah, but taking the kids to school is your job in the morning and I've got other plans. She had yoga, the gym and some house cleaning on her agenda. I asked her again, explaining how exhausted I was and begging her to respect the agreement we made. She insisted, you're still their dad, tired or not. I lost my cool and yelled, I just need a few hours of sleep, please respect what we talked about and let me rest. She was pretty shocked by my outburst and eventually took the kids to school. I slept like a log until 4 p.m. When I woke up, there were a bunch of messages from Sonia, all saying I shouldn't have yelled and that my behavior was toxic. So now we're barely talking. It's been two days of awkward silence between us. I'm second-guessing myself, did I go too far by yelling? For some context our kids are at school from 7, 15 am until 1 pm. Sonia picks them up and spends the afternoon with them until I get home at 5 pm. Her daily routine includes gym time and yoga, which takes up about 2 hours. When she's home, she handles everything from cooking and cleaning to helping with homework. I've always thought our division of labor was pretty fair. I'm not solely responsible for the kids at night, Sonia handles them during the day and helps with homework. Sure, it's chaotic, but that's life with young kids, right? I even offered her the same deal, to give her a day off later, just like I was asking for. The main issue here is that Sonia had promised me she'd respect the arrangement we made, but when it came down to it, she didn't. I get that parenting is a shared responsibility, and I do my best to be involved. But when I'm on the brink of exhaustion and ask for a small favor in return, is it too much to expect some understanding? Looking back, maybe I could have approached it differently, but it felt like I was being pushed to my limits. Was I wrong for losing my temper and yelling? AITA? Squirrel trap. Given the context, NTA. A doctor literally ordered you to rest. Your wife agreed to help you. If roles were reversed and you took time off work to step in for your wife, you would be tough for waking her up. She didn't respect your valid medical need to rest. Your doctor ordered a week of medical leave to rest. If this isn't a recurring thing outside of this isolated incident, NTA. Holis Canale. I agree. Well, I'm just assuming here, Op's wife didn't need to go to the gym or yoga if it was just for fun, and could have walked the kids to school since Op's doctor literally ordered him to rest. It would have been a different story if the doctor hadn't otherwise. Asru. Set aside the medical leave stuff, his wife should have stepped up way before it got to that point. Crunch time at work is brutal, and it seems she is either oblivious or simply doesn't care that her husband is handling a totally unsustainable load. I can't imagine seeing my partner working into the middle of the night and getting three hours of sleep and not doing whatever I could to ease their burden. What's going to happen when the single earner for the household gets demoted, fired, or has a heart attack from all the stress? AITA for telling my teacher she can't have a bad day when students aren't allowed to. I've got to use a throwaway account because my family follows my main. So, here's the deal. I, 16F, have had this math teacher who's been seriously against me since day one. I've never been rude or cheeky or anything like that. I always say please and thank you, and I thank her before I leave each lesson. I like to think I'm pretty smart and good at math but she's always had a problem with me. Here's what happened. 
I was taking a test the other day, and I study best through psalms. I'll put a song on repeat and use it to memorize stuff. Sometimes this means I'm sort of singing the song in my head. But I never do it out loud. While I was doing this, my math teacher kept accusing me of staring at the paper of the girl next to me. This happened multiple times during the test, even when I was looking at my own paper. Every time I tried to explain, she told me to focus on my own test. I got super pissed, especially when she ignored my raised hand for 10 minutes. She helped other students, even looked at me, but didn't help me. It was clear she wasn't making a mistake. I was so mad I told my parents and they sent in a complaint. She ignored it and failed my test, saying I copied from the girl next to me. The only times our answers matched were when they were right. So I complained again. She called me into her room and said she was having a rough time and was just taking it out on me, and she apologized. I didn't forgive her. I told her that students come to school every day expected to be happy and have no problems. I mentioned that even girls on their period are told to sit when they need to use the toilet. I said teachers don't care about our mental health or well-being and are always telling us to be good. I told her she couldn't bully a student for three years and think nothing would happen. She told me to get the hell out of her room until I was ready to be respectful. I had stayed calm and composed throughout the discussion. I haven't gone back yet. Most people are backing me up, but a few think I shouldn't be so harsh on her. I'm starting to doubt myself, so AITA. Edit. For context, this wasn't a one-time thing. This teacher has bullied me for three years straight. I was literally her emotional punching bag, and it was incredibly draining. I felt like every day in her class was a new battle, and it took a toll on my mental health and confidence. I have a meeting tomorrow with the principal, her, my parents, and me. I'll update you all then. Update. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, so let me know if there's a better way. I met with the principal alone first, and I had to give a detailed statement about everything. I'm glad I took some of the advice from the comments, it helped a lot. While I was making my statement, my teacher was with the vice principal. When we were all brought into the principal's office together, we had a talk. I had five classmates waiting to back me up, and they were a huge help. We talked for about an hour. Most of it was her denying my accusations. Sadly, the incident from a few days ago wasn't considered. It ended up being a he said she said argument. After a while my teacher admitted that she may have taken some anger out on occasions. Both of us kept our cool during this. My parents and the teacher ended up arguing a lot and we had to take a break to cool down. I'm being moved out of that math class, which is a relief. I don't know what will happen to the teacher for now, but she's been sent away for further investigation. It feels like a weight has been lifted, but I'm still on edge about how everything will pan out. She offered to make it up to me and move past it, but I don't feel comfortable with that. I'm still angry but I hope Kama will handle the rest. Also to clear up some confusion, when I said I was a punching bag, I meant emotionally, not physically. It's been a long, tough battle. Thank you for listening to today's story. Have a nice day.